and welcome back to our Curse Plays Final Fantasy VII Remake. Alright, when last we left off, uh, we had climbed onto the top of what was left of the uh, Sector 7 plate. And we're currently trying to get to the top of the plate here to rescue Aerith from the Shinra building. trying to get a cool shot of like uh, you know, cloud walking on this but when you change the uh, unlike other ones of these things when you change the view like you need to move the thumbstick in the direction cloud needs to go worse than all the other ones you have to move the thumbstick in whatever direction you start in copy even notice it walking up. Holy crap, did you see that crane just collapse? At least it looked like a crane. Starting to hog my space a little bit there, Barrett. They nothing we can't hit. Gotta work together. Yeah. Finish them off. <laughs> nothing to it. It was a combat. I couldn't even tell what was going on. Just hitting the buttons. I mean, but that kind of goes back to like, you know, actual like combat design. Because you don't want to have like a combat, especially in a third person action game like this, in this, com you know, enclosed of a space. Because especially with the way sometimes the uh, camera works. It can obscure what's going on. Hi. That son of a bitch is back. I thought we lost. And looks like there's only one way to go. We're headed that way anyway. Hi, Cloud. Okay, come on. Is there like a trick to this? going on. What am I supposed to do here?
How did I even get past this originally? Kind of bullshit. You want some of this? I'll get it. Oh. No. It's the only place to go. Ah, uh, yes, more helicopter dudes. sucks. But saying it the whole game. It just doesn't get any better. Definitely rest before moving on. About it. I think the uh, plot to this game only like takes place over the course of like three or four days. Right, this is where I'm supposed to go. They did not make that very obvious. Whereas when I was praising them with the uh, with the train about how they uh, pointed the way to go pretty well. If it weren't for that little map up in the upper right hand corner, I would be fairly lost. And I'm not even quite sure how that got turned on. Cloud. So maybe point the way a little bit better. Help too, won't you? For a price. Hmm. Kind of like how that's become like an in joke between them. You know, because Cloud was always like, I'll do this for a price. And then at first he was serious, but as 
Time has gone on and his true colors have kind of come through. favorite kind of sequences. I'm just glad they didn't really put any was getting tired of playing tag anyway. Come on. They didn't really put any uh let's try arrow spell. That's what's weak too. Need my help, do you? Now, one of Barrett's abilities here is Maximum Fury. It takes all of his ATB, but does more damage the more you. Don't it, you got this. Let's do this. Let's give it a Thundaga. You okay? Wow, basically two hits and it moved, it, moved that thing into the next uh with us yet. Yeah, oh, I, I can attack you. it. This blows a bit out of the sky. Staggered. Well, well, well. Now's our chance. Going in. Oh, oh, in really sleepy. oh come on. Oh, got enough. Wasted that whole stagger. It's done. What the hell? Oh, it's like a laser. Hope you're ready. We gotta got switch it up. Right. Watch and learn. Just oh, even Self-destruct. Why would this th thing be built into cubes like this? It's like giant concrete cubes. 
doors that just happen to be bolted together somehow. must be like ridiculous. There's like that group helping hand thing, like what Aerith and Tifa did for Cloud earlier. I swear, this whole this thing's a motif. And it's a motif that means, you know, you can't get through it without your friends, without the people who support There's you. Such a thing is too much excitement. Yeah. And there's still more to come. Guess so. Hope everybody's warmed up. Right, looks like we finally made it to the plate. That shot, which is the cover of the original game. I've heard the dialogue from this part That's good. more times than I can count. Because our next gameplay section is actually like Rolled out the, welcome the number one place to Gotta grind. Say, I can't help but wonder if this is a lost cause. Well, you know, some lost causes are worth fighting for. I agree, Barrett. Let's just think this through. Sometimes the only enemy so, worth fighting I got is the implacable one, the undefeatable one. Guns blazed. Make for a good story. Why'd we bring you along again? <laughs> yeah. Rear entrance. We'll get inside via the parking garage. So this section right here. So basically, you come in and you skip all of the uh, all of the dialogue there. Then you run until a certain set of combat encounters is done right here. It's like run down here, skip all of their security is looking pretty tight. Huh. All so their dialogue. Up against. Somehow I don't think it's all for us. Could be for Avalanche, or maybe even Wu Tai. Can't be for Wu Tai. What about the ceasefire? That only put the war on pause. So we find out here that the war with Wu Tai technically isn't over. There's just a ceasefire going on. Either way. We're here to rescue Aerith, remember? We don't need more attention than what we're gonna get. We need to be smart. Yeah, I hear you. But my soul's screaming for payback, you know? I'm a ticking time bomb. And sooner or later, I'm gonna have to blow up. Well, then make it later. That is actually quite the military presence there. However, we do have some things to sell, especially the items, like 40 antidotes, we don't need that many. 
Oh, it's Gil. We only have 12. Sell those. Sell those off. It's like a hay string. We're not really going to use that. We're not going to use these grenades either. We still have big bombers in the beginning of the game. Why are Molotov cocktails so expensive compared to everything else? Okay, we're not really going to need any more of all that to get through the game. Could sell some of this stuff, but we don't really need to. I'm not interested in selling materia. kind of one of the first times when Barrett realizes he's not really in charge here. I really still can't believe these guards don't spot, you know, our crew up here. Especially when they're not, like, trying to minimize their, uh, their presence either. How's it looking out there? Anything? Nah. All clear. Roger. Okay, head on in. <sighs> so far, so good. <laughs> actually the best place to grind in the entire game. How that works uh, is you actually have to get to um, New Game Plus or Chapter Select. And whenever you pick a new chapter out of Chapter Select, uh, it saves your game and you get to keep everything you found. Uh, Gil, XP, AP. I'm actually gonna hold on to that, uh... That will not break. Let's keep moving. And then you just go through... This entire combat, uh, encounter. I want to save it for... this so many times it's just ridiculous so basically one of the first things I would do if I were trying to max out a save is after I played through the game for the first time I would replay this section until everybody's max level 
And you'd play up until here, and then you would go to your menu, and then chapter select this chapter again. You do that over and over and over again. So let's check out our materia. So lightning's kind of staying on cloud because we kind of need it. This fire is maxed out, so that means all of our fire materia is maxed out. Still working on the time materia. Magnifies getting there. Wind smacks down. Do we have anything else we can redo that with? Preferably with an elemental. Uh, we'll go ice. We are really raking in these uh, upgrades. Let's get Cloud some more attack power. Attack power, yes. Ninety six attack power here. And I can further up the speed by fourteen. What does rear assault do? Increase damage to enemies when flanking. Okay. Nobody in the uh, security room there. For everything going on outside, it is actually fairly dead here. Oh. 
Nobody's home. Yeah. Do you have any idea where they might be holding Aerith? I'm thinking a research facility. That'd make the most sense. And where is that? Upper floors. Maybe near the top. That's where you are. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe we can use the console at the reception desk to find out. This building's incredible. <laughs> A shining monument to corporate greed. One of these days I'm going to tear it down and burn the rubble. But not today. Yeah, yeah. Now while they go look at that, we're gonna look around a little bit. Because I know there's... my loot senses are tingling. So... It's also another thing to be said about having this much space. So, Aerith was talking about like how big the building is. So, if you think about it, in most modern cities, like, space becomes uh, very expensive. So, if you think about it, how ostensibly how, you know, wall-to-wall -wall the slums are, then you saw the more modest spaces out on top of Sector 7, and then you look at a space like this, and you can kind of see how opulent it is. This is Shinra flexing their money and power that they can just have this much space, that they can afford this much space, uh, yeah, this much space, and they can afford to waste it. Especially considering, you know, all of those, like, think of how many people who could be housed in a space this large. And I mean, like, properly housed. I don't know about you, but I don't think we should try touching it. Shit, making life hard. Let's just keep heading up. Because one would have thought that, like, this building was like an office building. Okay, so, like, it would have, like, a lobby here that's, like, maybe a two-story lobby. You know, which is still an opulent use of space. But at the same time, like, you would expect there to be a lot less wasted space on the inside of the building. So That would be like a stand? honeycomb of Either offices the elevator and that sort of thing. Or the emergency stairwell. Isn't the lab we're looking for on one of the top floors? I vote we take the elevator. Key card required. Vending machines. Looks like a coffee place, too. Fuck up the chairs. Still yet another key card. No getting upstairs without a key card, huh? I think we're gonna need a few before this is over. Pretty sure I saw one lying around. Reception desk. Yeah, but how to get in? Go up and over, maybe? Look. Pretty sure we could reach it if we hop across those lights. I don't know. I think I'll give it a shot. Huh? As the lightest one here, I figure I've got the best chance. You two can sit back and watch. Now, remember okay, the guys. uh, wish me luck. <laughs> you be careful. The handhold mini always? game from uh, the church with Aerith. <laughs> we now get to do the same thing with Tifa.
Tifa! Oh shit! Tifa! Are you okay? I thought I was dead for sure. She is super lucky to have landed on that uh, couch there. Screw your car, Shinra. Motorcycle. So going along with the whole um, Shinra as a power company. So Shinra is kind of like the general electric of their world, except a lot more nefarious. See the General Electric in our world, you know, they're just they're just greedy. And Shinra takes that greed to a a hugely different level. I'm actually looking around for treasures. Like a bunch of gold just sitting around in a, in a thing. As you can see, like it looks like they've built engines. Um, they built engines uh, for cars, motorcycles, trains, just like the trains are on. I wonder if all this stuff is powered using Mako energy. Then these are probably rocket engines, if I had to guess. Well, I'll find the way up, because there's a way up. I see you up there, purple chest. You are not going to uh, evade me. So, maybe... Nope. Ah. Thank God for lazy work, then. a pair of purple what is that a weapon for Tifa maybe it is I don't even think I've ever picked this up before okay to get proficiency in this I just need to strike a staggered enemy So that's our first six materia slot. Concentration activation, I do like that. Critical hit boost, limit break boost with low HP. Attack damage boost, yes. Increases damage dealt by, yes. Critical hit rate, attack power, and critical hit damage.
So this looks like it's for like a crit fishing build here. So that's an interesting, interesting weapon. And I can get all of those, uh... Free slot. in there just because. So Tifa will deal less damage, but she should crit a whole lot more. And we'll see how that goes. Hand over hand, huh? That's fine. Bring it on. How do I get through here? Ah, okay, I see. I was on the right path, I just didn't see that I could get off of this thing on top of this little sculpture thing here. strength. This isn't so bad. Pretty close now. Just need to make it over there. Almost there. Just need to get across those platforms. There we go, finally. <laughs> oh. 
Right, she made it in. Now how does she make it out? That's some fine work. I might be able to disable security from here. Huh? Hot damn, girl. But I didn't do anything. Shit, I'll take it. So you can use that to look up what floor the research facility's on? I think so. Give me a sec. <sighs> Bingo. Professor Hojo's lab. 65th floor looks like. Huh. Guess we can only get to the 59th floor via the elevators or stairs. To access any level above that, we need to check in at the Skyview Hall reception. 59th floor it is then. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, so here we actually do have a choice that uh, we didn't have before or it's actually like giving us a choice that we did have but uh, they decided to put it in anyway so in the original game we could actually choose to go, you know, guns blazing through the first, uh, through the front door, but we could also take, you know, the emergency stairs on the side of the building, and they really did make you climb 59 flights of stairs. And I have heard that they did that again here. On my last playthrough, I did not take that, uh, that route, and I'm not going to take that route again this time, because... There are a couple of scenes in the elevator that, you know, that we could talk about, and that sort of thing. After all, I am here to praise the game for what it gets right, as well as not praise the game when it gets shit wrong. So, there are the elevators that way. in the stairs. Yep. But we're not going that way. In the original game, there is some funny, some really funny dialogue to take the stairs. Basically, everybody, like, complaining about, like, are we really doing this? Okay, can I interact with that? Thank you. Thank you, game, for letting me interact with something. Going up. To be fair, Going if... Closing. You know, if security's that tight on the outside... So what can we expect further up? One has to wonder what's going on now that there doesn't seem to be any security easy. on the inside. <gasps> Tenth floor. Door open. <gasps> Intruders! I mean, at least these guys got it. But, I mean, the group, with the exception of a cloud, doesn't really You're seem done. like they belong here. Was never in doubt. Wasn't expecting that. Think anyone knows we're here? Nah, we took them down quick. Going up. Doors I love the fact that like they're, you know, they're saying that and having that conversation. Wonder if it'll but stop the camera again. angle is from People what the camera the angle from the damn security system sometime. would be. If it happens again, we'll deal with it like before. We got this. <clears throat> that didn't take long, did it? Twentieth floor. Doors open. <gasps> Let's 
That guy took a potion only fit to take Cloud's sword to the side of his head. Nothing to it. Why is Cloud the party leader? Did party leader reset after the uh after Tifa rejoined? Here we are with the uh, security cam angle again. Straight on up to the top now. Come on. We just keep getting waylaid, don't we? If you want to take the stairs. Now that you mentioned it, no. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go up, up. 59 flights of stairs either. <laughs> very poignant reminder that not everyone who works for yeah. Shinra is a soldier. People work here too. She probably called for help. And what were you gonna do about that, Barrett? Who's it gonna be next? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. We're safe here. What about you, Mom? You okay? <sighs> Good. That's a relief. <sighs> What? Oh, they gotta be kidding. Going up. Doors closing. No, we haven't heard anything new yet. But they told us that Avalanche could attack again at any time. Just get somewhere safe, Going okay? Up. Yeah, Doors about that. Closing. I really do like these reminders here. A whole lot of normal people with families and friends work for Shinra. People just trying to support their loved ones as best they can. I know it's not exactly a revelation, but it's easy to forget. A good man who serves a great evil is not without sin. He must recognize and accept his complicity. He must open his eyes to the truth that his corporate masters are profiting from the planet's pain. Only then can he redeem himself. I know you know this. <sighs> I do. Tifa, we need to focus on saving Aerith. I know. I will. And Barrett believes that. Because in a way, at one point, he himself had worked for Shinra. 70, 80, 90, 100 percent, 110. Mako supersaturation confirmed. <laughs> Engaging materia cooling to reduce temperature. <sighs> Madame Director, you have a meeting shortly. Stop. Your timing is impeccably atrocious. <laughs> Mako density and materia integrity are both holding steady. Registering mass increase in core materia. Looks like somebody's doctoring all the security footage. Now, show me something truly exquisite. Uh, contaminants registered. Hmm. Uh, We're leaving. Material growth accelerating, outpacing models, registering crystallization within the reserve tanks. The reaction is out of control. We have to stop it quickly. Clean up the mess, would you? Man. Did they really have to? So this is the sky like, you haul, huh? Bet this place cost a Did they really have to up. pump up the Let's like for cartoonish villainy of the villains of this that much? Like Scarlet's style of villainy in the original game comes across just fine. I don't think they needed to like amp it up. Because, like, they've basically already shown that, like, the 
upper executives at Chinra are... How would I put this? Opulent. Opulent and corrupt to the core. And they just keep hammering it away at us. I feel like a bit of more nuance would have uh, served the you plot a bit better. You must be here for our grand tour. Visitors have access to floors 60, 61, 62, as well as floor 63. You will proceed in that order. By the exit of each floor, you will find a device that will allow you to update the key card in your possession, thereby allowing you to access the next floor. And now begins your grand tour. Please enjoy the Shinra experience. Why is this whole thing got to be such a big pain in the ass? I don't know about you, it's corporate but this bureaucracy. is kind of weird. You think everything's going too well? Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? <laughs> if it is, then bring it on. Let's get this party started. And what's been going on with the music ever since, uh... Ever since, uh, we had that scene with Scarlet. It's got, like, this, uh... This, like... Sounds like a little bit of, uh, jazz in the background. I don't think it really fits all that too much. It puts the, uh, puts the scene too much at ease. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. I'm gonna throw a save in there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. This is Arcurus, signing off.